Every year, Canadians across the country celebrate Lincoln Alexander Day on January 21st. Alexander was a leading figure in the fight for racial equity. Today, a commemorative bust was unveiled at Queen's Park, honoring his legacy. Maria Sru has a detail. The great honorable Lincoln Macaulay Alexander. Cheers filled the Ontario legislature. The historic moment Lincoln Alexander's bronze likeness is unveiled. It was a momentous day for his family. I feel very joyous. Uh, we've been waiting for this day for such a long time. And to see it come to fruition is just really um, have a lot of gratitude. The emotional ceremony was filled with sound and color. The commemorative bust will soon stand at Queen's Park, making Alexander the first black Canadian political figure to be displayed in any parliamentary setting in the country, mirroring his legacy of shattering glass ceilings. Link inspired thousands of young Canadians with his life story and his example of overcoming discrimination. Politicians of all stripes gave tearful speeches expressing their gratitude to the trailblazer. I do not think I would be here today were it not for him, so I thank you. He will continue to serve as an inspiration for generations to come. Alexander was Canada's first black member of parliament in the 1960s before becoming the first black cabinet minister and then the first black lieutenant governor of Ontario in the 1980s. Thank God for Lincoln Alexander, his family and friends who supported him and the people of Hamilton West who gave him that opportunity. Every year, his contributions and legacy are honoured on January 21st. Well, what we've done is today is we've transformed the culture of one of the most hallowed halls of government in Canada. The statue is decorated with medals Alexander earned over the course of his career. He wore them regularly during his official duties and now they're memorialized on his chest. And so this one is a first uh, medal that he got from serving in the war as a war veteran. Alexander lived in Hamilton for decades, first making his way to the city in pursuit of love. During the, second, during the Second World War, returning from service, he followed Yvonne Harrison to Hamilton, married her, and in Hamilton rose to become a graduate of McMaster University. The Lincoln M. Alexander Parkway was named after him in 1997, despite him never holding a driver's license. Maria Saru, CHCH News.